It's a big surprise. Nobody thought the ocean was this deep. So all of a sudden we've got scientists saying, why is that? It's a big surprise. Nobody thought the ocean was this deep. So all of a sudden we've got scientists saying, why is that? The deep ocean isn't just dark. It's a world of crushing, unimaginable pressure. At the 11,250 meter mark, far beneath the thermocline, where sunlight and warmth become distant memories, the weight of the water overhead is over 60,500 pounds per square inch, 50 times the pressure inside a rifle barrel. This is the hodl zone, a realm so extreme that very few human-made vehicles have ever touched its muddy bottom. And every time they return, the data recorders hold secrets that defy logic. We're peeling back the layers of scientific reserve to uncover the terrifying events recorded beneath the thermocline. You won't believe the unexplained sounds recorded down there. The thermocline is the invisible barrier separating warm, sunlit surface waters from the cold, dark abyss below. But what lies far beneath it is something else entirely. The Hoddle Zone, named after Hades, the Greek god of the underworld, starts at about 20,000 feet and drops to depths like 11,250 meters over 36,900 feet. On the surface, we live at one atmosphere of pressure. Down at this depth beneath the thermocline, the pressure exceeds 1,100 atmospheres. It's like having 50 jumbo jets pressing down on every square inch. And yet, life exists there. But the life found is not what anyone expected. So you might think in such a hostile environment, there would be very few animals living. The earliest expeditions, like the Bathyscaphe Trieste in 1960, brought back whispers of the unexplained. Don Walsh and Jacques Picard saw a flatfish-like creature, a scientific earthquake proving multicellular life could exist under impossible pressure. But the most unsettling findings aren't the things that live, they're the things that move and the sounds that echo. The unmanned Japanese probe Kaiko in 1995 brought back tiny single-celled organisms called foraminifera. More recently, scientists found giant xenophyophoras over four inches long, a single cell the size of a human hand existing beneath the thermocline. This deep sea gigantism suggests life evolves in wildly unexpected ways when isolated by such extremes. But the truly terrifying events are not biological. Deep sea hydrophones have picked up the bloop and other ultra-low frequency sounds. While many are attributed to ice quakes or whale songs, specific deep origin acoustic events remain unclassified. One set recorded near the Puerto Rican trench was described as a scrape and a shudder, suggesting movement of something massive across the ocean floor, far larger than any known marine animal. Every time an exploratory vehicle dives beneath the thermocline, crews are briefed on what they can discuss. Official reports focus on geological data and microscopic life. What they don't share are the unexplained energy spikes that fry sensor equipment, sudden temperature drops occurring too rapidly for natural currents, and evidence of large-scale physical disturbances on the muddy bottom. Massive, unnatural tracks created by something surviving over 16,500 pounds per square inch of pressure. The silence isn't fear of aliens. It's fear of admitting their models of physics and biology are fundamentally broken at Earth's deepest frontier beneath the thermocline. The truth about deep sea creatures. The greatest anomaly from 11,150 meters isn't lost technology. It's impossible biology thriving under crushing pressure. We may catch a glimpse of one of these strange deep sea creatures as it drifts by. We're talking pressures that squeeze atoms of proteins and cell membranes, making life mathematically improbable. The deepest dwelling fish, the snailfish, was found at 26,700 feet. Below that, pressure becomes too great. Proteins denature like cooking an egg. So, how do they survive? Deep sea organisms produce trimethylamine N-oxide, or TMAO, a pressure stabilizer allowing proteins to hold their shape. Scientists calculated the maximum depth for bony fish, and the snailfish sits right at that limit. But if snailfish represent the absolute limit, what about unidentified shapes and massive tracks observed at deeper points beneath the thermocline? This brings us to Adal gigantism. Giant amphipods like Alicella gigantea are barely an inch long in shallow water. In the Kermadec Trench, at over 33,000 feet, they reach 13 inches. Speculation from grainy footage suggests the largest might be exponentially bigger still, creatures that would dwarf anything on the surface. One incident, dismissed as equipment malfunction, involved a submersible losing power near the Puerto Rican trench at 27,000 feet. When systems rebooted, short-range sonar showed a fast-moving echo-dense object over 25 feet long passing underneath. 
the speed and size indicated an animal far beyond known limits of deep sea life. Known hadal invertebrates are slow-moving scavengers, an object that size moving that fast contradicts every piece of established biology beneath the thermocline. The sheer difficulty of studying these organisms creates understandable secrecy. To bring an animal up from 11 thick 150 meters, you must decompress it over weeks. Otherwise, pressure differences cause creatures to expand and tear apart. This means evidence of massive anomalies comes only from raw, non-repeatable sensor data, far easier to officially dismiss. Another crucial detail is bioluminescence. Below 3,300 feet, it's pitch black. Organisms create light using luciferin, but records from beneath the thermocline hint at something different. Ultra-deep images show momentary flashes too, broad spectrum and intense for any known fish or squid, suggesting enormous, sudden energy releases. What could cause massive depressurization events in the crushing abyss? Something big and powerful is moving down there beneath the thermocline. Earth's deepest boiling points. Scientific expeditions have revealed a terrifying contradiction. Intense geothermal heat lurking alongside freezing water beneath the thermocline. This shifts the story from impossible biology to explosive geology. Deep trenches form through subduction, one tectonic plate sliding under another. This grinding action creates hydrothermal vents, including black smokers shooting superheated water at over 850 degrees Fahrenheit. The temperature is within a few degrees of freezing, and we're far beyond the reach of the sunshine. Kept from boiling only by hundreds of atmospheres of pressure. Near the Challenger Deep, scientists found underwater volcanoes and molten sulfur lakes. The Daikoku Seamount holds pure molten sulfur at over 370 degrees Fahrenheit, constantly creating acidic, superheated soup dangerous to any exploration equipment. The real fear is unpredictable seismic activity. The Puerto Rican Trench's geological activity caused the 1918 earthquake and tsunami that killed over 100 people. Seismic monitors record hundreds of minor tremors indicating immense tectonic pressure buildup at the deepest points beneath the thermocline. NASA observed a super dense formation beneath the Puerto Rican Trench, so dense it creates a negative gravitational impact, causing the sea surface above to subside. This literal gravitational pit hints at massive unseen deposits or compressed mantle sections, suggesting immense unreleased energy held back only by the ocean's weight. One submersible recorded a sudden 60-degree Fahrenheit temperature spike lasting three seconds near 11,250 meters. Officials blame sensor drift, but a burst of 95-degree water at 36,000 feet indicates micro-eruptions or sudden breaches in subcrustal vents. If small events happen beneath the thermocline, much larger ones are possible, deep sea events that could dwarf any known earthquake. The tranquil dark bottom is actually thin skin over a violent simmering forge, physical proof of unknown forces. The most unnerving events at 11,250 meters involve physical evidence defying human engineering, metal ripped and scored, materials vanishing, impossible tracks etched into undisturbed mud beneath the thermocline, deep sea landers built with titanium alloy to withstand 16,500 pounds per square inch have returned with unexplained damage. One came back with massive gouges across its titanium cage, scored almost to the electronics. Officials blamed rock collisions, but deep trenches aren't rocky. They're characterized by fine, soft mud. The damage looked like a single powerful scraping motion, as if something massive intentionally pushed against it. Whatever caused it scored titanium already under maximum crushing pressure beneath the thermocline. Persistent reports describe unexplained tracks on the seafloor, linear furrows over three feet wide, extending hundreds of feet through soft mud. These tracks are too symmetrical and deep for any known animal. The largest known organisms, four-inch xenophyophores or 13-inch amphipods, couldn't create industrial-scale furrows. These tracks start and end abruptly, suggesting something settling and lifting from the bottom. Researchers refer to them only as geological striations, the most damning evidence of a horrifying unknown. During one Japan trench mission, biodegradable bait cages vanished. The tracking pinger went silent 30 minutes after reaching 27,000 feet. A subsequent dive found only a smooth circular depression, no metal, wire, or bait. The entire structure seemingly vacuumed up without trace. Dive logs note simply, unrecoverable object. The most disturbing event, discussed in hushed tones, is the whisper of the abyssal plane. 
During mapping near the Tonga Trench, sonar picked up highly regular, rhythmic clicks and scrapes, too mechanical to be natural, not from the lander or tectonic shifts. It sounded like massive machinery operating on the seafloor beneath the thermocline. Analysis ruled out sunken vessels. The sounds were deep origin, suggesting rhythmic repeated action. The final recording, a sudden sharp metallic snap, then total silence. This event remains classified as a level three security incident. Something scores titanium holes. Something massive leaves tracks matching no known animal. Something with mechanical regularity operates in total darkness beneath the thermocline. The unfinished story. The journey to 11th's 250 meters beneath the thermocline is a descent into extreme contradictions. Life thriving under bone pulverizing pressure, volcanic heat blooming in freezing darkness. We've explored deep sea gigantism, defying biological logic, chemosynthetic energy sources fueling worlds cut off from the sun, and terrifying records of scored titanium and impossible sonar contacts. We need to debunk wilder myths. The Puerto Rican trench's gravitational anomaly isn't a dimensional gateway. It's simply ultra-dense crust exerting higher gravitational pull. Claims of submarines pulled down by supernatural forces are exaggerated. The horror isn't magic. The horror is physics. The truth lies in the vastness of the unknown. We've explored less than 5% of the ocean floor beneath the thermocline. The anomalies, rhythmic metallic scraping, sudden temperature bursts, unexplained tracks, aren't fantasy. They're evidence of unacknowledged natural reality that current science cannot fit into existing models. The scored hull patterns suggest megafauna predators, or gargantuan scavengers, far more powerful than snailfish. Creatures with titanium-like biological armor surviving impossible depths. The mechanical sounds indicate either massive geological instability or something communicating in the dark beneath the thermocline. Why the silence? It's not conspiracy, it's cold calculation. Revealing data defying physics without repeatable explanation would undermine established oceanography. Admitting something unidentifiable exists would cause panic. The silence is desperate data gathering before admitting fundamental models are incomplete. The story of 11,250 meters beneath the thermocline is an unfinished map. We're looking at a hidden ultra-high pressure ecosystem powered by geothermal energy, home to unimaginable life, governed by immense unstable forces. We're only beginning to peek behind the curtain. What colossal truth beneath the thermocline do you think scientists fear most? Like and subscribe for more deep dives into the planet's biggest mysteries.